At LEGO, we talk about organizational capabilities more and more because capabilities are the building blocks for our organization and for what it takes for us to succeed. And I think you can compare a capability to a muscle, like muscles you have in your body that enable you to walk, talk, run, move, survive and succeed, basically. There are different kinds of muscles and they are very different for each person depending on what they do, what kind of muscles they need to develop and really be very strong at using. If you're a runner, it will be your leg muscles that are very important for you to run faster than others. If you're a rock climber, well then you need to have very strong finger muscles in order to climb that mountain and climb an even higher one after that. If you're a chess player, well then it's your brain that's your most important muscle. So muscles are very important and different muscles are important to different people and different businesses. We've defined a set of prioritized capabilities at LEGO, meaning these are the most important muscles that we want to develop and strengthen. And how do we define a capability in organizational terms? Well, it's not the same as a competency, it's much broader than that. It's about processes, it's about structure, the roles, responsibilities in that process. It's about having people who have the right skill set to really succeed in, for example, key account management, if that's the process we're looking at. And it's also about making sure we have people who are very excited to do their very best to make sure we have a world-class key account management process that delivers the results we want. So that's how we define a capability. And the advantage of that is that when we, for example, talk about the people aspect, it's not just about recruiting or training. It's just as much about making sure we have a solid process that's robust and world-class and making sure we have a, stru a structure where people know exactly who does what and it makes sense to them and they have the decision rights that go along with that role. So it's really about organization development. Now we've defined what the most important capabilities are, these muscles that we need to build and really make very strong. And what's the next step? Well, this is where talent management comes into the picture. And in a supply and demand perspective, you can say that we have a demand for building strong capabilities. And on the other side, we have a supply of people, of talents, that can make these muscles as strong as possible. So we basically, talent management-wise, have to match supply and demand to make sure we have people with competencies that can make these capabilities as strong as at all possible. And that's basically what talent management is about at LEGO. The next step then is to look at how do you work with demand and supply in a talent management perspective? And it's, uh, it's very simple, really. It's about knowing, growing, and flowing our talents. First of all, we have to know who they are, what are their strengths, and what's their potential to actually move into specific positions that are critical to these muscles, to, to the DNA of the capability that we want to build. Secondly, once we know them, we have to make sure that we grow them in the right direction. Okay, so for example, if you need to have more business acumen or strategic insight, well, that's the part of, you could say, the talents muscle we have to build. Finally, we have to make sure that we flow these talents in the right direction, so they wind up in the right part of the muscle. Uh, for example, if it's a key account management muscle and we want to grow in China, well then, there's a key account management position in Beijing that's very important. We have to make sure that this individual talent has a career path that moves them into that position. So it's about a very targeted approach that ensures our key talents move into key positions with the right skill set so they can succeed and grow this muscle. We see HR as a business enabler. The business is our most important and I would say almost only customer. So we're in the business of business and we have to make sure that these muscles I've talked about that they are as big and strong as possible based on business plans and business objectives. Whether that's growing a market in one area of the world or moving into the digital space, whatever. We just have to make sure that we have the firepower it takes to succeed. And for that purpose, we have different HR processes that can translate on the one side business plans into people plans and on the other hand, make sure that we can close the gap through development activities, recruitment activities, and so forth. So at the end of the day, that we have the strongest possible organization and muscle mass, 
needed to realize business goals. What I've outlined for you here so far has been a very top-down organizational approach and, and that's what it is. But at the end of the day, what really makes a difference is where the individual leader and the individual talent meet and have a meaningful conversation and where the leader can talk about business demand for growing capabilities, the individual talent can very openly talk about his or her ambitions, career dreams, where the passion lie, and they actually can make these two ends meet to create this intense energy where our muscles are fueled by highly motivated talents that are using their capacity, their competencies to the fullest extent. And that's what talent management is all about, is making sure that business development, talent development becomes one and the same. That's my ambition for talent management at LEGO. We're not there yet, but I believe we're definitely moving in the right direction.